Arc and Desk believes innovation is the key to growth. Let's take a look at 3D printing, a technology that we believe will revolutionize traditional manufacturing. We'll start by sizing the 3D printing market through 2020 to give investors a sense of the magnitude of growth that we expect. Arc estimates that 3D printing will grow from $5 billion today to roughly $40 billion by 2020. While other firms have taken a more cautious approach using historical growth trends, Arc and McKinsey chose to use a top-down approach when sizing the market. At the very high end of estimates, McKinsey projects up to a $490 billion market by 2025. What makes this technology so revolutionary? 3D printing, or more broadly, additive manufacturing, is the process of building objects layer by layer instead of using a mold or removing material from a larger block. This allows for radically new part architectures, decreased costs, reduced weight, and shorter time to production. Ultimately, 3D printing makes manufacturing a much more agile process. 3D printing is still a young industry. Today, the technology is mainly used to make prototypes and has penetrated only a slice of the end-use parts market, which we estimate is an additional $500 billion opportunity. For instance, GE, one of the leading providers of jet engines, uses 3D printing to make fuel nozzles. Originally, 19 separate parts made up a fuel nozzle. With 3D printing, the nozzle is one part, it's 25% lighter and five times more durable. Because of its benefits, GE plans to invest $3 billion in additive manufacturing over the next five years and expects the technology to touch over half of its supply chain in the next 10 years. Nike and Adidas use automated knitting technology, which is a form of additive manufacturing, to transform footwear design and production. The result? Labor costs are reduced by 50%, material wastes are lowered up to 20%, and it creates better performing shoes. Despite these prospects, 3D printing stocks have suffered since peaking in 2013 because of several factors. The consumer 3D printing space was overhyped and didn't materialize, and the appreciation of the dollar and China's industrial recession hit US manufacturers hard, which heavily impacted short-term demand. As with most technologies, there's an adjustment period. As the manufacturing industry faces increased pressure to boost efficiency and cut costs, 3D printing provides the core value propositions of higher productivity, lower costs, and more agility. For this reason, we created the Total 3D Printing Index to track the performance of the 3D printing market as a whole. The time is right for 3D printing to shape the future of design and manufacturing. To learn more, visit ARC's research platform, where analysts publish research on disruptive innovations like 3D printing, and join ARC as we invest at the pace of innovation.